uh, she mentioned a song that she was working on. And then we got into this other idea she had for a song. And she felt so strongly about it. And I just loved it. Love it. I love that you feel strongly about it. Because no matter what you do, feel strongly about it. Specificity just makes it authentic. We were talking about authenticity. How do you make things authentic? You give them the details that only you know. You lived a life like I've lived a life. There's things only you know about that I'll never know unless you tell me. And I want to hear that. So that's really what's important to me, is you tell your story. I titled this writing commercial hit lyrics for a reason. Um, people would bring in their songs and they would be so obscure and so vague and so whatever. I go, no, no, no. You know, you can do that on your own. But if you want to write commercial songs, I'll show you how to do that. We were talking about hooks. Yeah. So you've got this great, you've got my heart, and you've got a beautiful interval. Mm -hmm. And I want, to, the minute you hit that, I want, I hope she does that interval again, because it's really hooky. I want that again, it shows off that really lovely quality in your voice. Mm -hmm. So you didn't repeat it, you just did it once. That's the title of your song. So I would do, I've got my heart on a string, da 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 I got my heart on a string. Then I changed that next note, just to make it different, but I would, you know, that's your hook, okay? So that's number one. So that's not a lyrical thing. That's just a melodic thing because you did an ace. Lyrically, I think it could be more visual. I think if you told the story, if you showed us more than telling us through words, and they're sort of poetic, but then you stick in this whole line about uh, I could eat the air. That's the line I liked because that to me was real. But everything else, with, when you were rhyming the attain, I thought you were just rhyming to rhyme. Oh. And I, I forget about rhyming. I mean, I, I'm, I teach you about rhyming, the different kinds of rhyme and everything, but I always say, get your story. I wish I saw the story. I think if you did it a little bit more visually, it would get to us a lot faster. Who are you, that's the first thing you have to ask yourself as a songwriter. Who are you singing this song to yourself? Who are you singing this song to? So, who are you? So, <laughs> yeah, well, you've got to answer that question, who? I think you're singing it to yourself. Okay. You're sort of singing it to the guy, but I view it that you're singing it to yourself, which is totally fine. Okay. But I, people don't talk like that. I acquire the more I refrain. If I went, I acquire the more I refrain, you go, what? You know, <laughs> you know I would say, you know, uh, you know, I get closer to you the more I pull away. You know, you ever see people like politicians and they get up and they speak in this language that you go, what are you saying? You know, in a way it's, you're like, you're draping this in poetic stuff because you feel you've got to. When I just want you to speak clearly and say, you know, I want you closer to me, but you keep pulling away. You know, and I'm looking at you and I'm saying, it's a conversation. We go back to lyrics are a conversation. Who, who is your, if it's a conversation with yourself, fine. But we all should understand it pretty quickly. It took me a minute to figure out, what is she saying? Mm -hmm. So that's all. But it's a pretty song. Mm -hmm. I like it. Uh -huh. If your style is more metaphorical and you're, you're using similes and you're using a lot of techniques of poetry, I, I, you know, there are people that are very poetic. You know, Joni Mitchell is very poetic. And there's loads of uh, singer-songwriters that are poetic. But I think that they all share sort of a, a conversational quality. Even Joni Mitchell at her most poetic, I sort of get what's going on. What, what I, like in your song, I sort of didn't get a direct line. The poetry sort of got in the way. I think you can use it as a tool to express yourself. Writing commercial hit lyrics, power strategies for the songwriter. And so you already get a sense of the power part of it. Having a strategy is a product of having this deep toolbox, right? If you've got a lot of tools, then you devise the strategy that's appropriate for the song at hand, right? Yeah. And every week we do a, another, another fun exercise. I do something like called Rewriting the Beatles, where we literally, yes. I'm not going to say yes. the song we rewrite, yes. but we rewrite a Beatles song. And I've had such great success with this this idea because we give you something to hang your lyrics on a, a great form and then you just fill them in and uh, things are good so that's just one example then you do something called word clusters 
who was the one who was uh, in the stars with his girlfriend? It was uh, Max and Beck. Yeah, well, he created a world. He had all these associative words to you know the solar system and stars, and that's something I. It's called word clustering. So anyway, I do lots of things. I have like loads of. I want you to speak in your own voice. So use what you got.